Um, all right, animosity towards my fiance. Oh boy. Oh boy, here we go. Here comes somebody maybe needs to pull the plug there. First off, let's sit, set things straight here, all right? You are the funniest comedian out there. I like this person. Nothing but compliments. Not holding me accountable for my actions. Nothing but, you know, praise. Now let me get off your nuts because I know people tell you this all the time. Um, doesn't mean I don't like to hear it, so thank you. I have, a, I have a life story to tell you about. Let's see how this goes. I've been with my girl now since November 2018. You're a pilot. Do the math. All right. Well, it's two and a half years. I mean, I don't think that has anything to do with flying a plane. Uh, Rewind it September 1st, 2018. My father passed away. Sorry to hear that. I'm a wreck. My girl at the time who I was with for six years, who I adored, loved, never cheated on, treated her like a queen. I thought she was. Leaves me a month after my dad dies. Oh, dude, that means she wanted to dump you before, and then she was just like, fuck, his dad died. Now I got to hang around for another month. God damn it. Uh, it was a blessing in disguise because she was one of those girls that liked, that liked to hit. Oh, yeah. My wife used to be like that. She used to fucking throw shit and punch me. This lunatic. She used to call it, I'm passionate. Uh, she was a narcissist, controlling as hell. Also found out she cheated on me. Oh, Jesus, you fucking dodged a bullet there, sir. So now I'm a double wreck, feeling lost and heartbroken at this point. Hey, I have feelings, fucker. This is typical guys. Like, he, I'm feeling heartbroken. He couldn't just say that. He had, to, he had to throw a fuck you across the bow to keep me at bay here. Uh, not even a week later, this amazing woman, amazing, all capital letters, woman, just falls into my lap. So what do I do? Uh, after all her yeah, yeah, bullshit, what does she do? I tell her I'm not ready for a relationship. I tell her that she's a good woman and she doesn't deserve how I'm going to treat her. Parentheses like shit. I told her I know how I am and I don't want to treat her horribly just because my last relationship ended so wrong. Well, that was a mature thing to know about yourself. Uh, I wasn't ready. You know, the dust must settle and the debris must be thrown out from the wreckage of the last relationship. Yes. Uh, my girl now insisted on staying with me to help me go. No, my girl now, this woman, same person, insisted on staying with me to help me go through my tough time. I didn't want her to. I wanted to be myself, constantly trying to push her away. I wanted time to focus on me. That didn't happen. Valentine's Day came around. I tried to break up with her that night. But when I told her we couldn't see one another, the waterworks came and I gave into the tears and she got her way. Now, fast forward about a year. We have a beautiful baby girl together. Oh, my goodness. January 25th, 2020. Congratulations, I hope. Uh, we're a family, as we should be. We plan on getting married in September 2021. Where is the problem? Uh, I feel animosity towards my fiance for never giving me the chance to breathe. I haven't been able to mentally place myself into this relationship I feel like I used all my good energy on the wrong person in my last relationship. Now we're, now we're getting married with a little girl, and I still feel the same. It's not fair for such an amazing woman like her to be with a damaged man like myself. I want to get back to normal and be able to mentally check into this relationship finally. I'm questioning getting married right now. I'm so confused and still feel lost. Any advice would be wonderful. Go fuck yourself. Um... All right. Um, I don't think you're holding yourself accountable for your actions here. All right. You knew from day one you didn't want to be with this woman and you needed your space. All right. And you keep blaming her like she pulled you in, like you didn't have the power to say no. You broke up with her on the evening of Valentine's Day. All right. She starts crying. And rather than sticking to your guns, you stayed into it. And now you have a kid with her. So what I would do if I was you is stop blaming her and feeling resentment towards her. You should actually be questioning what is wrong with you that you didn't want to be in something, you got into it, and now you're, you have a kid and you're going to get married. You need to go to therapy is what I would do. I would go to therapy and be like, hey, tell her what him or her you're talking to, what you just did, and try to figure out why you do that stuff rather than blaming this woman who you say is an amazing woman who, you know, 
you have a kid with. Um, but to give you something positive here, you know, in case you think I'm coming down on you, um, this is a part of life. A part of life is blaming other people for decisions that you made until one day you hold yourself accountable of like, what am I contributing to this situation? You know, why, what happened to me that made me, when a woman cried, give in. And most guys do give in when that happens. Um, I've done both. And I'll tell you, it never works out either way. <laughs> I've called him on. Really? You're going to cry about this? How old are you? That, that never ends well. You're so cold. Uh, pregnant woman's rights. Dear Billy Vanilli, ice cream sandwich, love and burr. Oh, guilty is fucking charged. Vanilli ice cream. Billy Vanilli ice cream sandwich, love and burr. I like that one. I recently saw a visibly pregnant woman smoking. Hey, man, it's, it's her kid. I couldn't believe with all the information we know about tobacco that this still occurs. So I made a post about it on Facebook talking about how if we can smash a window to get a dog out of a car, why can't we smack the cigarette out of a pregnant woman's mouth? That's fucking hilarious. Oddly, this didn't go well. I know you're being sarcastic. And became a discussion about women's rights to her anatomy. I am pro-choice, but smoking while pregnant should be regarded as child abuse. What are your thoughts on this liberals gone wild moment? I uh, hope you were having a great go fuck yourself. Whatever that means. Um, well, yeah, dude, if you post something like that on the Internet, you think some fucking morons aren't going to jump on the hook and start yelling at you. I think it was a, I think it's a great joke. That's what I think. I think it's a really good joke. And I think you should continue doing jokes like that because I think it's funny. And um I can tell you right now, if men carried the baby and we smoked, a woman would have every right to slap it out of our mouths. If that's my baby too. And they would do it. And you know what? They'd be right. They'd be right. Okay? She's making decisions for someone who doesn't have the ability to make a decision. An unborn child. I mean, Jesus Christ. How do you, I, you know? But as I've learned... Throughout the years that they, they, women are, when you're in a relationship and then you're married and there's a kid and everything, they are number one. They are the starting quarterback. It's them, then the kids, then, you know, whatever the fuck's going on in the house and then you. That's how it fucking works. That's how the pyramid is built. So it doesn't surprise me that a small number of psycho women are arguing that, but I don't believe that most women feel that. And I don't think that people really think you want to go up and slap it out of her mouth. Um, what you should do is get a spray bottle of water and put it on the, the most widest, like, you know, so it hits her in the face too. Oh, what are we doing? Put that out. There's a baby in there. You're welcome. <laughs> Skip away. And you just do it with water. You know, water is all natural. Most people are dehydrated. So it's like, and smoking makes you dehydrated. So there you go, right there. Look what I did. See what I did? I saved your baby and hydrated your breast. How could you be that mad at me? I moisturized your face while, you know, helping, helping your unborn baby. Like, what could be the problem? Who knows? All right, that is the podcast, everybody. I'm going to go watch the uh, Red Sox just started playing the devil rays. I'm going to record that. I'm going to actually go swimming with my kid. That's what I told her I was going to do, and I have to do it um, because, uh, you know, eventually they're not going to want to do it. That's why, you know, eventually they're going to get, like right now she has a tablet, and that fucking thing is just like, it's really cutting into daddy-daughter time, so... We got to like, you know, dude, you get your kid like any sort of computer or a phone or anything like that. It's like giving a crackhead crack. You immediately have a problem. All of a sudden you can't get them to answer your questions, look at you or anything like that. So I got to make sure I put in the quality time. So that is it, everybody. Um, thank you to everybody that bought tickets to the Wayne Previty uh, benefit slash um, memorial slash uh, reunion I'm very excited to get back there. Um, 
and eat all that delicious food. So I'm going to keep going on the elliptical, elliptical burr. Um, I'm also, you know, lifting the weights there, throwing them around. I did the old legs and eggs today. My favorite thing to do. Fucking leg room, dude. I'll tell you, man. Word is out about legs. The leg room, the last couple of times I've gone in there has been packed. Usually the loneliest part of the room is the fucking squat rack and all of that shit. But lately, people have been in there. They're not like the guys I remember. Back in the day, a squat rack was something to hang your fucking, your fucking champion hoodie on as you benched for the ninth day in the fucking row. All right, that's it, everybody. Go fuck yourselves. I'll check in on you on Thursday. 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 Thursday.